General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, Canada and the General Dynamics Land Systems Division, U.S., created the Stryker family of eight-wheel drive combat vehicles for the U.S. Army. There are ten Stryker models to choose from, including an infantry carrier vehicle, a commander's vehicle, a medical evacuation vehicle, a fire support vehicle, an engineer squad vehicle, an anti-tank guided missile carrier, a mortar carrier, a reconnaissance vehicle, a mobile gun system, and an NBCR vehicle. The vehicle, which has been in use since the beginning of 2001, is based on the GDLS Canada LAV-388 light armored vehicle. The LAV-3 is a modified Piranha 3 built by MOWAG, a Swiss company that is now part of GDLS Europe. Since the Abrams tank in the 1980s, the eight-wheeled Striker armored combat vehicle has been the first new military vehicle to join the U.S. Army. Double V-Hull, DVH, upgrades were made to the vehicles in order to give soldiers more protection from mines and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. Development United Defense received a contract in March 2005 to supply 289 full-vehicle reactive armor kits for the Striker. In July 2010, the U.S. Army gave GDLS a $30 million contract to make two V-shaped hulls for the Striker Infantry Combat Vehicle. These hulls were finished by February 2012. The U.S. Army awarded GDLS a $9.6 million contract in December 2010 to supply 350 Strikers with electronic video display kits and another $9.9 million contract to acquire and install striker shields. In May 2014, the U.S. Army awarded GDLS a contract worth $163 million to upgrade 93 flat-bottom striker infantry combat vehicles to the improved DVH design. Additionally, in June 2018, the U.S. Army granted GDLS a $258 million contract modification to upgrade 116 Striker Flat Bottom Striker vehicles to the Striker A-1 configuration. In addition to the DVH design, the Striker A-1 configuration has an in-vehicle network, a 60,000-pound suspension, a 910-amp alternator, and a 450-horsepower engine. In October 2018, the company received a contract modification for an additional $383 million to upgrade 173 Striker flat bottom vehicles to the A1 configuration. Striker A1 I am sure at. In February 2018, the United States Army received a directed requirement to construct an I am sure at system in order to provide striker and brigade combat teams, BCT, with direct fire support against aerial threats. The General Dynamics Striker A188 wheeled armored vehicle is equipped with IM Shorad, a 60,000 pound suspension system, and a 450 horsepower Caterpillar C9 engine. The Striker A1 combat vehicle's double V hull design makes it highly resistant to mines and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. Additionally, a 910 amp alternator powers the striker vehicle and supports the in vehicle network. It has a 63,000 pounds gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR. On all terrain terrain, the vehicle's eight tires provide enhanced mobility and increased speed. The Moog Reconfigurable Integrated Weapons Platform, RIWP, turret system is included in the IM Shorat Air Defense System, enhancing its ability to withstand aerial threats. In order to detect, identify, track, and eliminate emerging threats, the turret is equipped with both kinetic and non-kinetic weapons. RIWP allows for a variety of weapon configurations, such as two AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire air-to-surface missiles that can defeat air and ground targets and for manned portable air defense systems from Raytheon that can engage light armored air targets at 4,800 meters. The Hellfire missile has more firepower because it has a fire and forget system as well as a millimeter wave guidance system. The IM Shorad Air Defense System's secondary armament consists of a 7, 62mm M240 coaxial machine gun and a 30mm XM914 Bushmaster chain gun.
variant. The M1126 Infantry Carrier Vehicle ICV, and the M1128 Mobile Gun System MGS, are two striker variants. The M1135 Nuclear, Biological, and Chemical Reconnaissance Vehicle NBCRV, the M1134 Anti-Tank Guided Missile ATGM, the M1133 Medical Evacuation Vehicle MEV, the M1129 Mortar Carrier MC, the M1132 Engineer Squad Vehicle ESV, the M1130 Command Vehicle CV, the M1131 Fire Support Vehicle FSV, and the M1127 Reconnaissance Vehicle RV are some of the additional configurations of the ICV. The Raytheon Long Range Advanced Scout Surveillance System LRAS-3 is incorporated into the Reconnaissance Vehicle Day TV, an iSafe laser rangefinder and a Horizontal Technology Initiative, HTI, Thermal Imager of the Second Generation are all components of the system. The system will be improved by the U.S. Army by extending the sensor mast by 10 meters, bringing its range to 10 kilometers. In August 2005, the mortar carrier, MCVB, entered service. The 120mm mortar that is mounted inside the MCVB fires through swinging doors at the top of the vehicle. The vehicle carries a second mortar that must be unloaded before firing in addition to the mounted mortar. The vehicle has a crew of five and a digital fire control system. Self-protection system. The ICV has a protector remote weapon station made by Kongsberg Protec of Norway. This station has a universal soft mount cradle that can hold either a 240 Malawian Quatches 7.62mm machine gun, a 19 Malawian Quatches 40mm grenade launcher, or a machine gun with a caliber of 0.50. Additionally, it possesses four M6 smoke grenade launchers. In August 2005, Kongsberg gave BAE Systems a contract to supply the remote weapon station with an uncooled TIM-1500 thermal imaging camera. The digital communication system the vehicle's commander uses is the FBCB-2, Force XXI Battle Command Brigade and below, which enables text messaging and map network communication between vehicles and with the battalion. All vehicles' positions on the battlefield are shown on the map, and the commander can mark the positions of opposing forces on the map so that other commanders can see them. The Raytheon and Slash TSQ-158 Enhanced Position Location Reporting System, EPLRS, is included in FBCB-2, also known as the Tactical Internet. Mobile Gun System Between July 2002 and March 2003, Eight pre-production striker mobile gun systems were delivered to the U.S. Army at the General Dynamics Aniston Facility. Low-rate initial production, LRIP, of 72 additional mobile gun variants began. The initial shipment arrived in December 2005. The MGS made its first operational deployment to Iraq with the 4th Brigade, 2nd Division. When it joined the U.S. Army in May 2007, the MGS had been delivered to three striker brigades by November 2007. In August 2008, a production contract for 62 vehicles was signed. The Canadian Army, which planned to acquire 66 systems to replace Leopard 1 tanks, chose striker MGS. However, surplus Leopard 2 tanks were chosen as the alternative. The basic striker mobile gun system variant includes a fully stabilized shoot on the move low-profile turret from General Dynamics Land Systems, a commander's machine gun of M2 caliber and a 105mm M68A 1E4 cannon with muzzle brake are the weapons on the turret. The Striker mobile gun system has the capacity to fire 3,400 rounds of 7.62mm ammunition, 400 rounds of 0, 50 caliber ammunition, and 18 rounds of 105mm main gun ammunition. 